Well, uh, we were discussing the properties of the profit function. We have already discussed the first three properties of the profit function and now we are in a position to discuss the last property of the profit function. So the last property of the profit function is given by the profit function is continuous in the price vector. Since we know that profit is the function of prices, right? And prices uh, would either be, it would either be uh, output price, something like P or input price, something like W. So it means that we can differentiate profit function. And profit function is continuous in P. It means that profit function P can assume infinite values in a given range, right? So if the minimum range of the price is A and the maximum range of the price is B, then P can assume infinite values between these two uh, values for A and B being greater than zero. So if A is a non-negative uh, value and B is uh, a positive value, uh, then P can assume infinite values between A and B and it is differentiable function. As this differentiability will help us uh, to uh, discuss Hortling lemma to derive supply function and demand factor demand function of the form from the profit function. The rest of this property will be discussed in the uh, theorem of maximum in the later chapters. So this is all about the four property. Thank you. Thanks for watching.